What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another reaction. We are finally checking out Piri by Dreamcatcher. Now, as far as I understand, Piri is like a from the various uh, meanings uh, that I've seen, it's supposed to be like a Korean instrument. There were various of other meanings, so I'm not really sure what is the correct one for this uh, context, but I'm very excited to get into this music video. So without any further ado, if you guys enjoyed this content, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, check out the Patreon where I have some exclusive reactions, including Dreamcatcher Mind, as well as a lot of Blackpink content. Just started off with Stray Kids Code, as well as Quindom 1, 2, Road to Kingdom, Kingdom, and uh, some other stuff that you may find interesting. All of the information to all of the content that I have is available in the tier. So before ever signing up, you can make sure that whatever it is that you want to see is actually available. So let's get into it. I love this song. Let's take this back. Th 
you hear the heartbeat. It sounds like her heartbeat, right? As she is starting to freak out, not understanding what is going on because she's by herself. I, is this like, is this scene like a representation of like her being trapped uh, in you and I at the end? As Gio tried, I, one of the theories I believe was Gio tried to save her. Uh, but Yu Yan's soul, is that like a representation of her soul being trapped? What was like almost like a, a, a representation of going through severe depression and anxiety, uh, especially Han Dog's uh, scene of her being in that closet. Uh, and uh, the girl is almost like going back to the dark place that they cannot escape with the door and everything. I believe that was with Sua and I believe Gaian who had had a moment there as well. This is quite interesting. I'm not really... Oh. And showing G almost like the leader and then the, uh, the choreography was very interesting of showing all of the girls almost like falling one by one, which is almost like a representation of what happened and what, because each of the girls fell into like depression of sorts or high anxiety. Each of the girls fell victim. It also showed the, the fact that in what they were all separate. None of the girls were together as a group. So here it's almost like that they are falling one by one because they cannot succeed doing this by themselves they had to have someone that will support them therefore like they fell into like depression anxiety and it, it was a, a a lot of mental struggles shown in uh in what but the interesting part about the choreography here is right when it was supposed to show Giyu, they cut away if i'm not mistaken and it's almost like Giyu was was the one who tried fighting who tried, if I'm not mistaken, one of the theories was that Jiu tried to save Yu Yan, but it was too late and Yu Yan was tra trapped outside of that portal in that other dimension. So I'm wondering if this scene right here is like representing that other dimension, if it's Yu Yan's soul and whatnot. And this instrument is like calling for help. This might be one of my favorite musical arrangements by Dreamcatcher. Holy shit. That, that is so beautiful. Like, they, they literally talk about depression and anxiety. Like, I close my eyes and it's all black. As each of the girls gets freaked out when they see something, so could that very something be themselves? Like, I am kind of like my worst enemy and there's literally shots of the girls being mirrored individually like there's darkness within all of us and literally the moment i close my eyes there is black space and the reality won't be different and almost like this instrument that was supposed to be like a call for help for ex possibly i don't know like a signal of sorts is filled with like this black substance which represents kind of darkness oh. the reality won't be different because my dream became a reality my dream became a nightmare Oh, that is beautiful. And by, by the way, Dami, hair, your hair, fabulous. And literally, Xi'an is, is like trapped in this maze. She cannot escape this never ending cycle of like depression. And then Dami literally says, uh, Will time fix it? Because time heals all wounds, so to speak. But uh, in, in reality, uh, unless you don't realize what is the cause of the problem, time won't fix it. So this is actually really, really beautiful. Oh. Th 
That is incredible. The lyrics say one thing that's supposed to be like almost motivational. Like if I can reach out to you as literally the visual show something completely different, but the same. A hand is reaching out, but it's not the hand that she perhaps wanted because it's a nightmare because she possibly sees herself like kind of like I'm my own worst enemy. It's it's constant mirroring of yourself. Unless you accept yourself for who you are, you will never escape. Therefore, they get scared when they see themselves. Like unless you coexist with the darkness within you, you can't really move on. And Xion doesn't move on because she runs away. Like all of these girls get scared when they see themselves. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm getting way, way, way too uh, too far off and too deep in, in, in the wrong places. But that sounded weird. But let, let's get back to it. Oh, I'm already, I have no one to save me, but, but me? I have nobody, but you save me now. You are the only person that can save yourself. Therefore, they're being scared shitless when they see themselves in the mirror, because they think that this is, uh, in the mirror. They see themselves as, as the one that is, as the person that reaches out to them, as them. So unless you accept yourself. You will never get through it. You can be your worst enemy, but you are your own salvation, kind of in a way. Han Dog is absolutely, seemingly petrified of all of these clocks. The lyrics say it's not too late, but yet Han Dog is almost like focusing on the fact that it's like the clocks show different times. All of these clocks show a different time, so it's almost like time continues to pass you by. And this depression continues to grow and there's nothing that you can do when in reality the answer is right in front of your face. It's staring right at you. It's trying to reach out to you. You can save yourself. Kind of? I'm not sure. I'm not really making too many connections to the other music video, so I apologize if I kind of go off to a different dimension. Let's take this back. This might be one of my favorite songs by Dreamcatcher. What a surprise that I said that. Xi'an, by the way... <clears throat> Blanche on just uh, puts a spell on you. This is my favorite musical arrangement by them. Oh, yeah. Could blow the the piri like that instrument be like call for help like, is that like a signal i love this chorus the incorporation the constant contradiction between the lyrics and the visual it's not too late, but but Han Dog is worried that time is kind of passing her by as she can't do anything. Xi'an, somebody's reaching out to you. If I could only reach out to you, but then she gets scared. She gets petrified when somebody is reaching out to her because she is the one who is reaching out to her, possibly. The dolls with Sula, because she's afraid of dolls. Very logical, and I would be scared shitless myself. Hate dolls. Fuck them. Sorry. The clock, time is passing you by. 
being afraid of not being able to do anything with all this time that you were given. So you're running out of time, almost like to throw it back to, <laughs> to the movie time, which is actually pretty underrated, but uh, also time passing you by, essentially, right? The phones, all of these different phones represent different voices? I'm not sure. I've had a gun for a while. Please don't tell me that that was like reference to like legitimately being so far down depression that I have no one to reach out for me and save me that I've had a, a thought of that for a while. I'm not really sure. So with Guyon, eyes all over me, much like these phones, all these voices, literally it looks like googly eyes uh, that are constantly looking at her. And the other phone there also looks like eyes, which is, now I can't unsee that. So let's not look at it at all. Oh my God, now it's all look, looking like eyes. <laughs> I don't want to do yeah. 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 I is a repre representation of her trying to fight. And then the other version of God, perhaps, was the one who shut her mouth, which shut the mouth's boca, which obviously is about the haters. But each of the girls are being their own worst enemy. So I've had a gun for a while. I've always had that darkness in me. I've had it for a while at least, like, old. I'm, I'm not really sure. You guys can obviously help me out in the comment section. Oh. Did she hear her own voice and then the, the hand that is her hand also grabs her? Holy shit. That's a gif. That is just fucking beautiful. Dami. Fire, like the, the darkness is spreading like fire. Jiyu and Yuyun have the same colored hair, right? If I'm not mistaken. Did she think that she was uh, about to reveal Yuyun? Because she tried to save her and she couldn't? She thought that she was about to take off that veil and see Yuyun. She sees herself. Because she's the reason why Yuyun is not with her. So she's like blaming herself. Therefore, she's her own worst enemy in this scenario because she's in this constant... The depression for not being able to save her friend. Because <laughs> literally, we, we see Yuyan for, liter for, for fucking three frames to show you that, hey, they have the same colored hair. So she, she probably expecting to see Yuyan under that veil, which, I mean, we did get that monster cover, which them together is... Yeah, those are creepy as fuck. <laughs> what is uh, Dami's uh, fear? With Sua is the doll, with Han Dog is time passing her by, Shion. She was in a similar set, but it was, I'm not sure. Was it darker even? I'm not, like, it's very, it's a, it's, it's the same looking set, but their hand, the hand reaches out from out of the darkness. Is she, like, 
I'm not sure if she uh, she's afraid of being in the in the dark. Uh, I don't know. Jiu is blaming herself. The fear is not saving Yuyan, uh, possibly. But with Dami, it, it, it's almost like she's purposeless. Like her depression is not having a purpose at all. Because I I can't really put my finger on on a specific thing like. What is exactly the point of uh, uh, of depression for Dami? Does that sound like the sound of uh, a signal for help or something? Xi'an went from complete darkness to light. It almost looks like the same place where Yuyan is trapped in the beginning of this video. Even if I got lost on the path that I walked through the night again, as literally this time, the visuals are complete white. So she feels the same in the dark, being afraid of the dark, but now she's in the light, but she's still afraid because she's alone herself. I'm not sure. Please let me know if there's any more, like, Anything that to make more sense. And then they're all together. It ends with Yu Yan. And it's all, it almost like transitions, almost like a horror-esque type of transition, which, which makes sense. Because the, this music video, as far as the musical arrangement itself, it has, it has so many incorporations of different rock, pop, ancient, but then visually it's very modern, but at the same time it has like these lu luma key? Transitions, if I'm not mistaken, is the name of them. Did Yuyan save them all? Was, she, was her hand the hand that got them? Yuyan could have Yuyan saved herself, but, and by saving herself, she saved everyone. Because they're all together in the light, but in the nightmare during the night as well, which is very interesting. So could the hand that was reaching out to all of the girls be actually Yuyan's hand? And that's why... Xi'an was so petrified. Maybe it's a double meaning. If we focus more on the song and some of the visuals, we can come up with one more down-to-earth type of meaning that is more relatable. And that is like, you are like, you can be your own hero saving you from your own depression. You're the one that you got, you got yourself into this. You're the only one that can save yourself from this, right? It's almost like, a, it's about how you see yourself. It's your perspective. Uh, which is obviously easier said than done, but like at the end of the day, you get yourself out of that dark place. But also within the context of this music video, it's almost like Yu Yan was the one who was reaching out to everyone. Everyone ended up being at the same place or within the same dimension than Yu Yan somehow. I'm not sure. Honestly, I have no fucking clue. Regardless, this is this is up there with deja vu for me. Uh, this was absolutely incredible. I hope that I made at least a tiny bit of sense of these lyrics. If I did, let me know in the comment section. Obviously, if I didn't and there's anything that you would like to add, let me know in the comments as well. As always, these are just my interpretations and my understanding of this music video. I'm always happy to hear from you guys because uh, meanings to Dreamcatcher music videos are like a genre by itself uh, that you can really dive into as far as theories and whatnot. If you guys enjoyed this reaction, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. See ya.